Hello YouTubers and welcome to our first video here on Redakai 24-7. Many of you know me as either Mineral3 or 24-7. I'll be going by 24-7 on this channel as I do on all my 24-7 channels. I also of course have the channel Mineral3 which many of you may have seen my first Redakai video of on there. On this channel we'll be bringing you only Redakai videos. No other videos will be on this channel unless it's related to Redakai. We'll have various either pack openings or card reviews or maybe deck analysis in the future, stuff like that. Maybe we'll try some tutorial videos of how to play or something like that as well. It's a new channel, so I'll probably this won't be my main focus in the early going here unless it just really explodes with popularity. But I'll try to get at least one video per week. No promises or guarantees, but that'll be my goal to do one video per week. Maybe I'll end up being a new video every specific day of the week. So like maybe I'll have a new video every Wednesday, for instance. Don't have anything like that planned yet, but that's how it may end up. But anyways, for today's first video here, we have a buy cards by mail video. I bought these on eBay. It should just be some single cards of Redakai. I got them at what I thought was a fairly decent price. I don't think there's any rares I remember right, but so far I've only gotten those three packs. I actually got a box of the power packs in the mail a couple days ago as well. I'll probably be opening those on Mineral 3 though. So, although I will be doing only Redakai videos on this channel, I may still have some Redakai videos posted to Mineral 3 as well. So please keep that in mind. So, if you aren't already subscribed to Mineral 3, you may want to do that as I probably will have some Redakai videos on there in the future. Namely, pack or box openings, just because I have that channel partnered and these cards are fairly expensive. So, opening them on Mineral 3, where I can have ad sharing, ad revenue, it helps curtail the cost of the cards and helps me get more of these to open and show you guys. So, but when I'm just showing cards, or maybe I'll do like, like I said, maybe I'll do like card of the day videos or deck analysis or hard to play, stuff where I'm not actually buying stuff to make the videos and thus doesn't have, have a cost involved. Those will for sure be on this channel. So, let's see what we all got here in our stack of cards. And I may have a link in the description box below to my pack opening video, opening three gold packs on Mineral 3. So if you've already seen that, you can check that out as well. I kind of go over a little more details about the cards themselves in there as well. So, for those of you that don't know, if you're on this channel, you hopefully do, but every card in Redakai has animation. 3D animation like so. So you tilt the card, the graphics move, and they actually stack on top of each other for gameplay to keep track of damages and stuff like that. So this is an attack called Vertigo Vapor. Vertigo Vapor. And it has an attack strength of 750. Now, it doesn't do any damage or block off any defenses, but the bottom part here is clouded up. So therefore, if you use this to attack your op opponent's monster, and it has some sort of effect down here, it would block, that, block out that effect and therefore basically cancel it. Whereas other cards here, like Insanity Inc., may block off the sides. This is where the monsters have their defense radiance. So if you use that and successfully attacked with it, they basically have no defense radiance left and any attack you successfully use thereafter would be a successful hit. And skip down here. And then lastly, other cards, which is the main goal, will have red lines up here. Your opponent sponsors will also have these three health bars, basically. Once you successfully block out all three of them with your attacks, that monster, creature, whatever you want to call it, is knocked out. And that's how you ultimately win the game. So, certain ones will fall. So, basically there's three different ways you can damage or slow down your opponent. You can block out the effects, you can block out the defenses, or you can knock out its health. So, ultimately you gotta knock out the health to win, but blocking the effects or the defense ratings can ultimately help in that goal. So, I'll go, I can go over these range stuff more in, in, if I do tutorial videos, but we're already over for in this video, so let's just fan through these and show you what we all got here. So, we've got Smokescreen, Mirage, Hyperhypnosis, Bio Breath, Mind Shock, Ghost Riot, 
Mind Drill. And if you notice, all the ones I'm showing from this stack are blue in color. I won two auctions for two different color stacks, so all the ones in this deck are green, looks like. We got a Stinner. Hypno Blast. And some actually also have a racked power here, which you can pay well, however much Kairu cost, it says. And you may discard this from your hand. Characters on your team have plus 200 blue defense this turn. So if you're familiar with the Yu-Gi-Oh card game, there's Magic and Trap cards, which you can activate on your opponent's turn, depending on what the card is. This works in a similar way, where it can help bolster your defenses or your attack strength or whatever mid-turn while your opponent's going. So it can be helpful to keep cards like this in your hand for key moments where they may be doing a huge attack and where they maybe they'll have two or three red bars to wipe you out. You can play a card like this, which may give you enough defense strength to block the attack and negate it and basically help you survive an extra turn. So having a card like this in your hand can be pretty key. We got Electric Crush. That has a different effect where if it hits, an opponent discards a card. So that can be quite helpful as well. That's only, of course, while you're attacking on your turn, though. Electric Cage. Nightmare. It's kind of cool looking. Ear Splitter. Psycho Sting. Psychic Cage. Paralysis Spray. Berserker. It's another cool looking one. The actual creature type thing showing there. Ink Cloud. It's got another react power there. Time Shift. Brain Buzz. Blinding Light. This one's got a lot going on for it. It actually blocks out one of your opponent's health if it hits. You pay one less to play this for each character on your team that has blue defense, and it blocks out your opponent's monster's abilities as well. The abilities on monsters are actually lower on the card than the attacks are, so while these have the text up there, the monsters and creatures are down there. So, in case you're wondering how that works exactly, I don't have any monster cards in these stacks, I can't really show you here, but I will try to do some, some sort of tutorial video in the near future to go over how the game is played and stuff in more detail. Here we got a Voodoo Trance. Sea Creature Attack. It's another neat looking one. And our last card here is Psycho Slick. That one knocks out two of your opponent's health bars. Now that's because these do take a little more time to show because I like to show the animation on them as well. I think I will save my stack here of green ones for an upcoming video. So, that's all the cards I'll be showing in this video. So, if you have not already done so, please go ahead, hit that subscribe button. You can then get email alerts for when we have new videos uploaded. So you can be in the know and be one of the first ones to know when we have new videos up. Feel free to send us your friend requests. We'll accept them all. Give us a big thumbs up for our first Redekai 24-7 video. So if you love Redekai and you want to see more and you want to see this channel do well, Please hit that thumbs up, subscribe, friend, comment, etc. You'll be of great help to us. So until next time, I thank you for watching. And I'll see you next video when I go over the stack of green attacks that I also got in the same package. Thanks.